Looks like a pupil. Looks like the eye of Sauron. Kind of a psychedelic sunflower. Some images seem to naturally pique our imagination, even if you know what you're looking at. It's this, the sunspot. And in 400 years of study, scientists haven't gotten bored of trying to figure out how it works. With the help of this Swedish solar telescope, Joram Sharmer and colleagues uncovered new details about how the penumbra, or the stringy part of sunspots, is formed. We are trying to understand all these dynamics that you see in the movie, what it really means. Just for review, the sun is made of hot gas that boils to the surface. Usually the boiling motions, they look like round cells. That's NASA's David Hathaway. When they were first observed, the, the granules, they thought they looked like rice grains on the surface of the sun. Of course, size is relative. The small ones on the sun are a thousand miles across. And basically they're just... Hot gas coming up from inside the sun, spreading out at the surface, cooling, and then going down uh, around the dark borders. Now enter a magnetic field. That's what those wisps are. Sunspots are formed by the presence of a strong magnetic field that disrupts the boiling. The magnetic field in the umbra is almost vertical uh, and very strong, strong enough that it chokes off the boiling motions from inside the sun, and that's what makes the sunspot dark and, and cool. Where that magnetic field flops over and becomes horizontal, you get the penumbra. People had theorized that the horizontal magnetic field impacted convection in the penumbra to make these elongated boiling channels. Sharmer and his colleagues actually observed the downflows of gas in those dark regions, which is consistent with that theory. The scientists say that understanding the taxonomy of sunspots and how exactly the different structures are formed will require looking at more of them. And there will be more to look at, as sunspots are expected to increase in the next few years with solar maximum. This may mean more solar storms, but for solar scientists, it's good news. Yeah, yeah, we like activity. <laughs> That's what makes the sun so fascinating. If it weren't for the magnetic field and the sunspot that makes it, it would be kind of a boring star.